If you're like most Americans and want to spend as little time as possible doing yard work, then pine cones are not a welcome sight. However, it's a problem that one researcher at the University of Georgia is trying to tackle as he looks to create the coneless pine tree. Damon Jones tells you about the process and how far along it actually is. As any landscaper or homeowner can tell you, nothing is more frustrating to clean up than these little guys. However, that might soon be a thing of the past as retired University of Georgia scientist Wayne Hanna is heading a project that focuses in on producing coneless pine trees. As for his inspiration... Eight or nine, ten years ago, we uh, got the idea from uh, working in a yard uh, one Saturday morning that uh, pine cones were a little aggravating to be picking up every to be picked up every Saturday morning. So um, I decided that uh, we would uh, see if we could possibly uh, take the pine cones off the pine tree. Hannah, who is world renowned for his turf grass research during his 37 year career with UGA, is using some of the same techniques when dealing with his more than 4,000 slash and loblolly trees. The key, he says, is getting rid of the cones before they become a problem. Uh, we're using gamma radiation uh, to uh, to uh, sterilize the tree and our idea is uh, the way uh, we under our understanding is that uh, if that uh, little cone that's about the size of a thumbnail doesn't uh, get fertilized uh, then uh, it will fall off and we see them on the ground and so if it gets fertilized then it grows into a large cone that we have to deal with. While creating trees void of cones is the main goal of this research project it's not the only one as scientists are also trying to create trees that produce more pine straw and less of one more nuisance. And also at the same time we're looking at uh, pollen is a tremendous allergen uh, for a lot of people and so we want to sterilize the tree. Of course there's going to be other trees uh, out there that have been growing a long time that, that uh, still produce pollen but the new trees that we can plant hopefully uh, won't produce any pollen. While less pollen would help alleviate allergies, it might also help the tree itself, as diverting energy could make the waiting time for timber producers much shorter. And at the same time, our idea was not only get a coneless pine tree, uh, uh, but get a faster growing tree. Uh, our idea could was that maybe if we could take the pine cone off and sterilize the tree, st uh, take, uh, reduce the pollen, uh, get rid of pollen production, that that energy that's used to produce seed, cone, and pollen would be uh, transferred into uh, growing a tree uh, faster than you could grow a tree now. It's a new breed that pine straw and timber producers, as well as homeowners, will be eagerly anticipating. However, Hannah warns that while the nearly 10 years of research has yielded fascinating results, the finished product is still years away. Uh, we're patient. Uh, we, we test it well before we release it, and this is another case where we're, uh, we're moving along and there's a lot of interesting uh, trees out there, but uh, we want to see them a little bit longer before we make any conclusion. Reporting from Tifton, I'm Damon Jones for the Georgia Farm Monitor.